Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, live from Total Value RV right here in Elkhart, Indiana, the RV capital of the world. Guys, what I wanted to show you is a brand new 2019 3901 Aria that we just got in. First of all, we'll start out here in the front. You can see they've gone with the new raised chrome Aria logo up there on the top. You got your full one-piece windshield, which is automotively bonded. So that way you're able to see this great country of ours as we're out traveling. You get all your headlights and your fog lights down here with some LED lights too as well. And then here in the front, <clears throat> this is where you have your 8,000 Onan generator. Which is very easy to access. You just have this little latch right here. This whole door will lift up. And then in here you have your 8,000 watt generator. So what this will do, this will run right off of your fuel line. So if you get below about a quarter of a tank, it's not going to allow you to run it, but this will power everything in the coach. So if you're dry camping, you're stopping at the Walmart, whatever it may be, turn your generator on and you can power everything on the inside of the coach. Okay. So as we come on around here, you can see you've got your chrome mirrors, which are up high. And then also in the chrome mirrors, you can see here you have your side camera. So that way when you turn on your turn signal, this will come down and show you down this side of the coach. Also here you have dual fill, which you have a 100 gallon tank, which you can fill on either the driver's side or the passenger side. And if you come in here, this is all your hydraulics for your, sl for your slides and your leveling system, which you can just follow the colors, and that way if you have any issue, you can take care of it. And you do have a manual override if you need to bring your uh, jacks up then too as well. And then back in the back is your little switch to release for your hood there in the front. So that way you can get at your generator there as well too. That's not rust. That's painted, yes. Protective paint. Protective paint, as Mr. Cameraman has pointed out, ladies and gentlemen. Then here you have your Michelin 22 and a half inch ADR tires with the aluminum rims. So it's going to give you a nice smooth ride. And then also you can see with your air ride here too as well, is this will actually, once we start the coach, this will actually raise up about three inches. So that way you're up off of the wheel well and it'll give you a smooth ride. This is on your Atlas Foundation too as well guys, which is done at more ride, which will guarantee an eighth of an inch variance from the back to the front then too as well. So that way it's going to assure a smooth ride. Another nice thing they've done for 2019, what you can see here is they've gone to thicker doors and also thicker insulation. Another small thing they've done here too as well guys is they've given you this little lip right here. So this way this will prevent the water from coming down and getting into the coach. Here also then you have your LP gas. Okay, so we can run your furnace, hot water heater. Come around here, we have our full pass-through storage. This one here, you have the tray then as well too. It will slide out on this side or it will slide out on the other side. You can see with your raised rail right here too as well. So that way you get a lot of storage in here. Also here guys, this, if you ever have any issues or whatever it may be, this is your Schwintech system that you can get out if you have an issue with the slide and it will tell you exactly what's going on. So that way you can get your slide in and out. Okay. So we come on around here, go a little bit further, we have some more storage right here. You can also see there's your mud flap for the back. Okay. Another nice thing you'll notice as we're going around, guys, is the frameless windows. They've been around a couple years, but a nice thing you'll notice is they are hinged up at the top. <coughs> up at the top, so that way this window will open up out more, allowing more air to come in. Plus it also gives you, you don't see any of your uh, seals around the window as well too, and it gives you a nice clean automotive look. Here you have your furnace vent right there. Here you have some more storage, it goes all the way through. And that is heated, guys, so if you got your furnace on, you will be heating your basement for you as well, too. You come here, then we're at our water station, which you have your whole house water filtration system right here. You have your outside shower. You have your low point drain right here, too, as well. And then here's your dump for the low point drain as well, too. Here you can do your black tank flush. We just hook your uh, water hose onto that, open up your black tank valve, and that way it'll clean out your black tank for you. Here's where your city water comes in, and then here's where you can run everything. If you're running off the city water, if you're winterizing it, and then if you're dry camping. And then here's for your water heater bypass as well, too. Okay? Then if you look down there, your gray is for your gray, and your black handle is for your black. So they make it very easy for you. You can also turn on your water pump out here, and you also have a light out here, so if you get in in the evening. Okay? So we come on back. Here you have your DEF tank with something nice. It's on the driver's side and it's a 13 gallon tank for you, so it's going to be a lot easier to fill it up. Okay. When we come on to the back, <coughs> we have our batteries back here in the back. You also have your 50 amp service right here. And then this here is also your surge guard, too, as well, guys. So it's going to save you money here as well. So you're not going to have to go out and buy a surge protector. It's already installed into the Aria for the 2019. Okay. 
Then up here at the top, another nice thing is you have your Gerard continuous hot water heater. Okay, so that way you can just take as long a shower as you like. And have a good time in there. Then you come to the back. We've got the 360 horsepower on here with the 800 foot-pounds of torque. You got your radiator in the back here. You got your docking lights up top, and you also have your backup camera. You can also see the nice molded fiberglass cap here in the back. Another nice thing they've done, you've got a 10,000 pound hitch here in the back, so you can haul up to 10,000 pounds. And they went ahead and integrated the plug into here as opposed to having it down. So it's just a lot cleaner look for you, okay? So we come on around here. We're now on the passenger side or the patio side. Here you have some more storage. A little bit of storage for tools. Then in here, what you have guys too as well, what they've done for you in 2019 is you have a 100 watt solar panel already on the coach but you can also add up to two more 100 watt solar panels so you can have up to 300 watts okay and then you have your inverter right there the 2000 watt inverter come on around to the side here you have your batteries and you also have your on off switch here too as well so that way when you're storing it put it off and that way it'll give you a longer battery life okay. come on around here you've got your 100 gallon fresh water tank which you can do gravity fill right here okay Nice thing too as well is Thor puts all of their sensors for their tanks on the outside of the tank. So if you need to replace them or they're not giving you the proper reading, you can get at everything right there. If you come on around here, you also notice this here. This is going to be access to your refrigerator. You also notice we have the armless awning. Okay, so what that's going to do is that awning will come out. If the awning shakes twice then, the awning will go back in for you so you don't have to worry about it if you're out. Also on all your slides, also take notice that you have the slide toppers on all of them. So when the slide comes out, that's going to also protect your slide area. And here we have our outside TV. Another new thing they've done for 2019 is you have the sound bar right here. You'll notice we don't have any of the speakers on the sidewall anymore. You've got your JBL sound bar right here with your TV, which will be out underneath the awning. So that way you can watch the TV, watch the game. The other side of the storage here. The other side of the storage here, remember the tray? Slide it out this way. Also, if anyone gets in trouble, you can put a nice little mattress in there and it could be an extra sleeping area as well. Okay. So, then we come on up to the front. We have some more storage here as well. Okay. So, we're coming on around, let's put this down. As you can see, we have the slides in. So that way we can show you what it's like. Now, would you like to go inside and take a look? And again, guys, here's the other side of that dual side fill, which is your 100 gallon tank, okay? So now we open up the door, you can see you got your automatic step, which two steps come out here for you, make it easier to get in. Then as we come into our step here as well too, this step will actually fold up and come in and be part of this. So when you're driving down the road, you don't have your feet dangling right here, okay? You got your house battery you turn on right here. You also can see with the Firefly system, we can turn on all of our lights right in from here as well too. Can do the kitchen ceiling, the living room ceiling, the cargo lights, cab overhead lights, awning lights, service light. Then you can do your master light on right there as well too. Okay, so we come on in. As you can see guys, we've got the slide closed. So you can see even with the slide closed, we can get to everything that we need to get to. We can get to our kitchen area, we can get to our dinette, we can get back here to the refrigerator, to our microwave, we can even get back to the half bath right here, okay? So, as you can see, we got the slides in, we can get to everything. So, Mr. Cameraman, I don't know if you can fit back here with both of us, but here, with your Firefly system, you also have all of your controls you can do right here. You have your home setting right here, which will tell you about the lighting can check your generator here in order to set up your auto gen start your auto gen starts kind of nice guys you can set it up for temperature time or uh, voltage okay so that way you can set this up say you want to set it up say if my voltage gets below whatever you can set it up have the generator kick on recharge the coach up and then get it back to power and then shut itself off or if you want to set it for temperature you can set it for a temperature it'll turn the generator on kick the airs on cool the coach down for you okay so you can do all that right here so your little command center here you got your lights check your temperatures for your climate control control your fans right from here and then here we get to the exciting part which is the, the slides okay so we're going to take out the slide you know, pass on your side you just hit stand and 
the motorhome will start to open up for when we get to our destination and start enjoying more time with each other and family. And this is the exciting portion of the show. To watch the slides go out and out of nature. Smoothly. We have a 3901 on this side, guys. We have a full wall slide. And then you come over here to the driver's side. And here you're going to have the couch and the dinette slide out. Just hold your button here. So how's everybody doing? thing about this here too, I just thought of this guy, since you're doing this, you're holding this down, look what's right here, refrigerator, should be full of snacks, beverages, whatever it may be, so you can just, as you're doing this, reach right in here, grab yourself a sandwich, a little beverage, as you can see it's a residential, and when you get to the back, it'll ask you if the bed left, because here in the back you have the tilt up bed on here, with the Denver mattress, so we want to make sure that you have it tilted up, and then you can hit extend. One finger as well. Yeah, I think it'll even work with the thumb. Go ahead and do it. So there you can see, guys, we've got all the controls right here. You also can see where you can put out your patio awning. You can put out your door awning right from here as well, too. And I'll tell you, since we've got the ignition running, the awning uh, extended has been locked. And here you can go for all of your settings in here, too, as well. Nice thing, too. So guys, everything that you see on here, you can go to your phone and you can get what they call the Vega touch okay you turn your Bluetooth on well you have to have the pin I, I don't know what the pin is but anyway you can control everything right on your phone right here everything that you see on here can come on this app right here for you too as so well you can see I've entered an invalid pin but I find out what the pin is so I don't know okay so anyway that makes it easy so now we've got everything open look at all of the room we have now you've got a whole bunch of space here in your living area so that way you can entertain talk with everybody and see what's going on. We're going to turn the motor up. So Mr. Cameraman, come on up front here and let's start out in the front and then we'll go to the back. So here you got your driver's seat. As you can see when you have your hood lifted up, you can see the back of the hood there then as well too. Okay. So if we come on around here, we'll start on the left here by the window. Here you have your automatic leveling system where you can just turn it on, hit auto, and it'll automatically go down and level the coach for you. Here's for your Allison transmission. Then you have some controls here for your mirror heat, your dash fan, turn your air horn on. You've got your auxiliary start so that we control your house and your coach batteries together. Your ICC flasher so if you pass someone they flash their headlights you can let them know thank you. You've got your controls there for your windshield wipers and also for your power mirrors here. We go up to the top, we can turn our cab light on, turn our service light on, and then we have our docking lights. Also, one thing you'll notice is I intentionally did that. Look at that cup holder right there, new for 2019. If you have one of the Yeti coolers or whatever it is, they've made it big enough now so it can get in there. And it's also stainless steel. Okay? You have a little charger right here. Then here too as well, down on your left here is where you can do your air. If you want to do it manually, you can do it auto, or you can do it manually, where you can actually lower the air of the coach, that way it will sit down just a little bit lower for you. You have for your fog lights right here. Here you have for your, trying to read it. Bright and dim. Bright and dim, right there. And then here you have turn your lights on right there as well. So you come on around here, then you got your dash, which they've done real nice. It's got the nice look to it. Very easy to see, all up high, so that way you can see everything. Okay, another thing I want to show you, Mr. Cameraman, if you can turn that on right there. I want to show you a total value RV exclusive. Now, when you're out shopping around for a 2019 Aria 3901, you might want to ask the salesperson, where can I get one with 60.8 miles on it? Well, after probably some silence and maybe some looking around, I might even pick up his phone and look at it for a little bit. 
It's not going to be able to answer it. You want to know why? Because that's a total value RV exclusive. Okay? Why is that critical? You're going to be the first one to put the first critical miles on this coach. You're going to take it out. You're going to treat it the right way. You're not going to get paid to get from here to there as quick as possible. Okay, so 60.8 miles. We'll have a little test at the end, see if everyone remembers that. Okay, so you come on around. There you can see you have your backup camera. Also, when you turn your turn signals on, remember I told you it would show you down the side of the coach. So you can see each way you go. It's going to show you down each side of the coach. Here you also have your bigger entertainment area right here. We can do your radio right in there for you too as well. Hook it up with the Bluetooth. You have the navigation in there as well too. Okay, here's where you can start your generator right here. Then here you have for your uh, shade. You have a sun shade in the front, which you can take up and down right here. Okay, and then you also have a night shade. Okay, so you can take that up and down. Here you have a nice little area that you can set some stuff on. Okay, and then even here you have a little place that you can keep some knickknacks or whatever it may be. Okay, so we've taken a look all around here. One thing that you'll notice also too as well is look at all of the storage that you have here in the front little place to put knickknacks this is a nice thing too as well guys it's got the wine guard 4g uh, internet service on it so that way you can run it right off of your um, your data or you can put your uh, super sim card in there in order to run it so here you have an area for your satellite your hdmi is right there you have some more storage look at how deep this is too as well guys so you can actually fit some stuff in here you can see it's an all glazed hardwood it's all hardwood here for you have some more storage here and here and then when you're walking in you can also see that here you have your MSRP sheet and it says do not remove until sold so if anybody comes to buy this we have a nice little ceremony where we take the uh, MSRP sheet off or we're gonna start it anyway here's a nice thing that Thor does for you too as well it says get rid of the damn problem what do they mean by that? Well, up on the roof, it's got an arch. That way you've got everything so the water can run off smoothly. It's not getting stuck by a railing or whatever it may be and just sitting up there too as well. So you're going to have a good flow. One thing to remember, both your chairs will turn around and make part of the living area when you get to your destination. So we come on back here. Here you can see we have a couch right here. This will bake into a bed for you. Also here too as well, you have your two theater seats. But you have nice little storage in here. You have two cup holders right here. So you have two seat belts here, and you have two seat belts here, and you have two seat belts back there. So you can seat belt up to eight people, okay? And you can sleep up to eight people as well, too. You can sleep two here, two here, and then two back in the bed. You might say, well, where is the other one? Well, what's a nice thing that Thor has done for you? Here, they've got this new bedding system. This is nice. Listen to how quiet it's going up and down for us. This can hold up to 500 pounds, can actually fit two adults in there, and it's got your memory foam mattress in there. So here you can also, you can fit everybody in here, you can sleep eight people, get out and see everything, okay? So here on the, pass, on the passenger side then, you have some more storage in here, look at how deep that is on both sides, there and there, okay? And then here you have the pop-up TV then for you too as well, so that way the TV will pop up and it will also go down, then when you're done with your viewing, you have some more storage there and some more storage here okay so now we get to the kitchen area you also notice on your flooring too as well it's a tile all the way through so that way it gives you a nice high-end look and then for you one thing too when you look up here in the top guys we have two air conditioners on the aria 3901 both 15k and they both have the heat pump but the nice thing you'll notice guys is look you don't see any return so they're both the quiet cool so that way when you turn your air conditioning on, you're not going to have to turn the TV up as well at the same time. Okay? And you can also see this is all your air ducts go all the way through from the front and the back. Okay, so we come to the kitchen. You can see it's got the solid surface. They've done a nice backsplash here all the way throughout. Another nice thing they've done for you for 2019 is a lot of people say, well, we don't have enough plugs. Okay, they've given us a little pop-up place right here for some plugs. And you also have right here two plugs back here in the back okay and then this does pull out here you can see look at how deep that door is you got another one there and you got another one there okay and then this does slide in for when you're going down the road so you can have it there or you can pull this out for the extra countertop you can also see look at the storage down here guys all compartmentalized very easy to get everything in okay Got a little place here to keep your dish rags. Here we have some more storage. Here you can see is all your remotes. Storage there. 
pots and pans drawer. Here's your whole house water filtration system. You can also see they're all on the ball bearing drawer glides. So that way they go in and out for you very easily. Induction cooktop right here. Also too as well you have your residential convection microwave. So that way you can microwave. You can also do your baking in there as well too. Okay. And here we add some more storage here. And look at this here. This is something that I think is pretty nice. Stainless steel sinks, both big bowls on both sides. Residential high-rise faucet right here for you. So it's very easy to clean. Then you also have the covers. So you can cover it up to give you more countertop space. To cook. Okay, so here in the kitchen, let's just take a look in the little kitchen area. What do we have, guys? Just in this area. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty doors and drawers just in the kitchen area. Okay? If you remember in the living area, we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven more. So that's your eight. If you got some storage, that's one of the nice things about a motorhome is storage, storage, storage. This is here's your dinette. It's an extra big wide one then for you too as well. So you can fit four adults in there. You also notice they have the little cushions on the back. So that way you can lean back and then be part of the conversation with everybody. You have your window right here to get your cross ventilation. And then here too as well you have your day and your night shades all the way through. So then you have the night right there. Okay. And this is new for 2019 as well too. Stainless steel cup holders right there. Okay. So then you have another TV back here for you as well too. And then you do have the fireplace. The fireplace will run off of the electric. And this here will also turn out some heat for you. So if you want to just take the chill off or whatever it is, you can do that right here. And it gives you pretty good heat. In the kitchen, we saw this earlier. But your residential refrigerator, which will, you know, you guys, if you're dry camping, it'll run off of your inverter. Or if you got your generator running, you also have the ice maker right in there for you as well. Okay. And then here we also have two pantries to pull out for you. You know, your spices, knickknacks, but again on the ball bearing drawer glides. So you got even more storage there. I didn't add that so I had two more then to our count. We went over our control center. Then here guys remember when we were in this is the half bath you can get at which you have the porcelain stool right here. You have the 360 um, siphon vent on there too as well which is kind of nice smell that. Of course you don't. Takes everything out there for you. You got a medicine cabinet right here. LED lighting all the way through. You got your fantastic fan right here. You have your emergency exit. You got some more storage down here on both sides. And then you have a drawer right here. A toilet paper holder right there. Okay, so there's a half bath. Now we come to the back here. As you can see, again, this is the total view bed, so that way if you want to sit up and watch TV, you got your bedroom TV right here for you. This here, guys, is the extra cushion, which we would use for the dinette in order to make the bed. Okay? You have plug-ins on either side of the bed, so that way you can plug in your CPAP machine or whatever it may be, alarm clock, but why have an alarm clock? You're on vacation. Okay? So then here, look at how deep that storage is, guys. I mean, let's get an idea here. There's this pillow. Can fit that in there easily so it's nice and deep for you and you have four doors and doors here okay and this is also on your denver mattress so it's going to be nice and comfortable for you now if you look here we have some main space here new thing they've done for you is they put in the metal so you got the metal adjustable shelves now and all of these so you can take them out adjust the height whatever it may be or just use it as a closet down here you have a drawer Nice big deep drawer here. Look at how deep those are. Okay. If you remember you had your bedroom TV. What else do you have? Even more storage. And then back here, got some more controls so you can get to everything. Okay, even a little shelf up on the top. And again here, you have your closet. Your adjustable shelves again. Two more drawers. These are nice and deep too. If you look under the bed here, guys, we've got four more drawers. Holy cow. Okay. So, in the bedroom, let's do this. So this is another crowd favorite again. That's why we do it twice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 
13, 14, 15, 16. Doors and drawers. Storage again, guys. Okay. Oh, I forgot these two on the side. We have two more. Yes. Camera is adjusting my hood. Sometimes I fly. As you can see, we get into the back bathroom here. This is your master bathroom. You've got some more storage right here. You've got your porcelain toilet with your flush right there. Back here, you have your Whirlpool washer and dryer, stackable, so it's going to be real good for you. You have another fantastic fan in here. You got your mirror right here, stainless steel sink. One piece fiberglass tub and shower surround with the skylight so that we can get it in. And a little seat right there as well, too. Again, drawers here to store some stuff. Some stuff there. But look at this. Back in the back. Okay, got more there. More there. So you can see any place that they can put storage, guys, they put storage. Okay, then right here in the door here, this is your access to your motor on the inside. Okay, there's some more storage there. So guys, here it is, the 2019-3901 Aria. You might say, hey, how do I get a hold of you? Well, we have a phone. You can call us at 866-282-4460. You can visit us on the web at TotalValueRV.com. Okay, or if you drive, you can come on the toll road, get off at 80, 80 90 at exit 92, take a right-hand turn at the first light, go to the next light, take another right-hand turn, Come down County Road 4, go through the four-way stop, and make another right-hand turn. So three right turns in order to help you make the right decision. Okay? So, listen, guys, if you're still here, I hope that we looked at everything. If you have any questions, give us a call, give or email us, or if you have anything that you would like to see us make a video of, we'll do it for you. And once again, at Total Value RV, it's where you come in as strangers and you leave as friends. We look forward to seeing you.